Well, if you enjoy art, a new exhibit is coming to town you don't want to miss. Calling out all Star Wars, Disney fans, Marvel fans, I caught up with representatives from the Thomas Kincaid Studios to talk about the unique pieces they're bringing to Gallery 725. Uh, what is Thomas Kincaid Studios and what is your connection? Well, when Brother passed, I mean, uh, we all uh, lamented it, obviously, and, and unique talent. Uh, but he recognized that he wouldn't be here forever. None of us are. And so he put together a group of very talented artists that paint in his style. He was known as the painter of light. He paints in a luminous style that deals in shadow and light and depth of field and warm colors and presentations. And so that studio is trained specifically in those particular techniques that my brother was known for, and they're carrying on the tradition. Right, and so you got Patrick and Zach, uh, the nephew there. Hey, Zach, do you think this runs in the family? Uh, that's what people say. Um, <laughs> I think I definitely inherit some of the talent. My cousin inherited some. And uh, my grandpa also uh, was an artist as well. That's Actually, pretty... if you go back, my, my uh, uh, grandfather was a plate engraver in newspapers and he used to do sketches and when they couldn't put photograph uh, 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 images into newspapers. So my father, my grandfather, and then Zach swam in the deep end of that gene pool too. Oh, that's wonderful. So yeah, definitely a family affair and thank goodness. I mean, this is just some a wonderful artwork and let's talk more about that because you're bringing this wonderful artwork to Jacksonville. Tell us more about the big event coming up. Yeah, well, we're really excited about that. Uh, we're gonna be spending a few days in Jacksonville and uh, during those days, we're going to visit a children's hospital and Zach will be teaching an art class there and doing a reading of his uh, children's book. Uh, at uh, Gallery 725, uh, we're also going to do a meet and greets and answer all the questions that people might have at uh, 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 about Tom and his work and the studio and what have you. And I will be painting live there. We'll be hi doing highlighting on limited edition work. And Zach will be sketching live there. So everybody who comes to visit us uh, during the event will have opportunity to take an original home of some sort. Very good. Maybe, you know, kids are back in school here in Jacksonville area already, and maybe this could be maybe an art project or maybe for those that want to learn more about art, would this be the event for them? Absolutely. Uh, we love talking about art in general. We like putting Tom's work into a historical context. We'll certainly be doing that, but it's just going to be fun. You know what I mean? We're going to talk uh, a lot about uh, Tom's history growing up, and we're going to talk about the, the uh, affinity projects that we do with the other great cultural iconic uh, 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 brands that we deal with. So it is just going to be a blast to uh, get together and talk about everything in the world that's been paid. Right. Very nice. Tell us more about this uh, art being featured at the Gallery 725 event and your connection uh, with Disney, Star Wars, and Marvel. Well, my, my uh, brother was always a student of popular culture and he absolutely adores these uh, iconic brands and the characters and the stories that are included in relation to those things. Marvel with Spider-Man, we have DC with Batman, we have uh, Disney with all the great Disney uh, characters out there, and we have Star Wars now too. So all of those different uh, popular cultural iconic uh, uh, stories are translated through my brother's vision in art. And uh, again, his uh, uh, use of light and shadow creates these wonderful things that almost look like uh, uh, three-dimensional uh, applications. You can almost put your hand into them. So if you're a fan of any of that, a popular culture you should come and enjoy it if you're a fan of traditional thomas kincaid you should come and enjoy it but zach also is a very fine artist in and of himself so we'll also be featuring uh zach's work yeah hey zach so uh tell us more about your work and uh maybe some of the favorite paintings you have uh that your uncle did oh yeah so my work um primarily focuses on like wildlife uh fantasy pop culture um, I do a lot of narrative landscapes with uh, particular themes to them. So like uh, Bible stories, um, holidays, uh, just fun things like that. Uh, I'd say my favorite painting of my uncle would probably be his Bambi piece. Okay. Um, it's always been a particular uh, favorite of mine. Very good. And hey, pa how about you, Patrick? I know this is a tough one. Uh, what would you say your favorite uh, piece? This is, this is I think mine deal with Tom, uh, Tom's traditional work. He did a lot of small town paintings and he spent a lot of time painting Placerville, the little town we grew up in. And there's this one piece that has this little Dalmatian dog out in front of a, a house that we used to deliver newspapers to. Well, that dog was named Spotty and it was a, uh, it looks like a sweet Dalmatian, but in fact, it was a breed. It's half Dalmatian, half Doberman. He used to chase us up and down uh, the street, barking and growling. And a little old lady would stand on the porch, which is Poitras, and go, oh, look at Spotty playing with the dog. Oh, Spotty's playing with the boys. It's so fun. And Spotty actually bit me. 
Oh, and no. Many years later, I asked Tom, why did you paint Spotty into a painting? He said, to taunt you, Pat. So, I mean, my, my favorite paintings all have family stories attached in one form or fashion. So, and again, if you come to uh, the, the event, I'm happy to share all those family stories with you. All right. Well, thank you so much for being on First Coast Living. You can head to our website for much more on this, and that's firstcoastliving.net.